I want to come back, but I also want to do things differently. Oh, oh, it's time to vlog. Oh, oh, it's a video log. Oh, oh, let's vlog today. Oh, oh, so many things to say. Oh, Hi, it's Vanessa. Oh, you may not remember me because I've been gone for a long time time. So lately I've been coming up with all sorts of ideas for how to get back into YouTube and start making videos again. Drink of the day is vanilla nut tea chino. Stuff is super delicious. It's tea that tastes like coffee. So getting back into YouTube. Back when I was steadily making videos, when I heard other YouTubers who had taken a break and then come back talk about how once you get into the habit of making videos, it's like really easy to keep not making videos. Like it's kind of weird to get back into making videos and it's hard to kind of convince yourself that, yeah, you need to make videos again. You need to get back on a consistent schedule and all of that stuff. And I really see how that's true. Like my break was more of a physical health thing than a, I just needed a break from YouTube, but like, it was still a break from YouTube, and I really did get out of the habit of making videos. You know, I even had some footage that I could work on editing, and I wasn't doing that. I just, like, stopped completely. And that's why the part two of my poetry thing never happened. Hold on. But I am excited about getting back into things. I've been coming up with some new ideas for my channel, and things are going to change a little bit. I'm going to talk about that more in a separate video that may or may not be out before this one because I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I feel like I don't need a dramatic like why I left video coming back just because I made my announcement that I was taking a break. But since I am thinking of making some changes to the channel, I feel like I should just let people know what those changes are going to be once I figure it out. This is me vlogging the process of deciding what I'm going to do with the channel. How I'm getting back into things, brainstorming ideas and all that. As far as I know, I want to do some things with art on my channel. Not sure exactly how. It's still going to be focused on like reading, writing, and I just want to bring art into it and maybe some of my other hobbies a little bit. One thing I'm pretty sure that I'm going to do is I'm going to not have an official schedule anymore just because of like, my wrists aren't completely better. Like, I feel they're doing pretty good. I was able to draw recently, and I wasn't super sore afterwards, which is incredible, because before, when I would draw, I would, like, be sore for two days, and I couldn't do anything for two days after I draw, which is so sad, because I absolutely love drawing so much. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I have an art project that I'm working on that involves drawing, and so that's why I want to do some more art videos. I'm not sure if I want to do, we just kind of brainstorming ideas, I'm not sure if I want to do, like, you know, they have art challenges. If you've ever watched any art videos, they have, like, the three marker challenge, the cheap tools challenge, and stuff like that. And I'm not sure if I want to do those sort of videos just yet because of the project I'm working on. I want to devote all my drawing time to that specific project. But those are kind of fun videos, so maybe we'll see. Yeah, but I feel like I might want to do some sort of like time-lapse video where I just kind of show me drawing maybe tutorials. Because I could do a tutorial while drawing one of my characters. There's no reason... I can't teach you to draw one of my characters. Unless I, for some reason, feel like drawing a popular character. And I also want to occasionally bring in some other things. Like I want to talk about maybe TV and movies that I'm watching. Which you'll see at the end of this vlog. I'm doing something with that. And I'm really excited about this new, I guess, section of the vlog videos that I'm doing. I might film a video today, actually. We'll see if I have time. Michael's is having a sale, so I'm going to be going there later. Maybe I'll do a haul if I end up getting good stuff. Time will tell. Yeah, so I kind of need to dust my bookshelves. Maybe I'll show you how bad they look. They've been neglected because they haven't been the beautiful backdrop. So the things that happen when you stop filming, your bookshelves get dusty. Don't know if you can see how dusty it is, but like, 
my poor Funkos even have dusty heads and like they don't look that bad from a distance but you can see it And now look how nice and pretty everything looks. Not sure if you can see a huge difference, but it does look better. See? No more dust. Exciting stuff. If you want to do something or get back into something, just start. Or start again. And maybe make a list. So I recently finished watching the Netflix show Anne with an E, which is the new version of the Anne of Green Gables, and it made me kind of reminisce about my childhood where I watched the original Anne of Green Gables. I don't know if you saw those, but they were on PBS and they play like all day long. But I really love the Anne of Green Gables original series because while the new one is pretty good, it is a little bit darker. Which is funny because like how can you make Anne of Green Gables dark? Somehow they did. But so I've been watching the old versions. Got them out of the library. Yeah, they're super cute and like Anne is just absolutely adorable and they're so sweet and fun. I do actually really like the original one as well when I'm comparing them as I watch them because the new one actually took its time a little bit more. Already in this one, I'm only on the the second half of the, the first disc like flipped over and already she's like done with school and gonna go and be a teacher and the other one she's still 14 years old and they introduced a new character who I don't remember if he was in the books because I know I read most of the books I don't know if I read all of them but I read a lot of the books and I they were really good too I loved them but the new one was a bit darker but I can kind of and I feel like Anne's family was even poorer in the new one than in the current one. Like the personalities of Marilla and Matthew are pretty much the same. Those are the people, brother and sister, who are taking care of her if you haven't watched the show. You know, the show has flashbacks to her traumatic time at the orphanage. I don't know, it's just like, it has a bit of a different tone to it. It's a bit grittier. Not super gritty, because it's still only rated PG, but they both have their good and bad parts. And Anne's still an adorable character either way. And yeah, so I enjoyed them both, but it is fun re-watching this because this is the one that I kind of remember and grew up with. So that's one thing that I have been watching. But enough about me. If you had your own reality show, what would be your theme song? Let me know in the comments below. Talking to you in the comments always makes my day. Bye!